This patient was referred to me for endodontic treatment of tooth number five. As you can see, crown on the tooth. And look at that huge recurrent decay right under the crown. So I looked at this tooth uh, when I saw the patient first a couple of weeks ago. And I wasn't sure if this tooth could even be saved. So I recommended to the patient, go ahead, go back to your dentist. Have your dentist cut the crown off, clean out the decay. And your dentist will determine if this there is enough left of this tooth um, uh, for him or her to try to save. If there is enough left for uh, him or her to try to save, then they will refer you back to me and I can go out and do the root canal. If the dentist cuts the crown off and cleans out the decay and there's nothing left of the tooth, then he or she will have the tooth extracted. And patient agreed. So patient came back today and uh, said that her, uh, his dentist cut the crown off, cleaned out the decay, and uh, according to his dentist, there was enough tooth left for, for them to be able to work with it. So they just wanted me to go out and do the root canal. So this was the condition of the tooth when he came back to see me today. There was no temporary crown on the tooth. This was just a uh, cavit. And uh, again, uh, patient said that his dentist told uh, his dentist told them that uh, that they could uh, they could save the tooth once they cleaned out the decay and examined the tooth. And um, according to the dentist, the dentist said that he could uh, he or she I don't know uh, save the tooth. Anyways. So that's what we did today. We went ahead and did the root canal on this tooth. I don't need a CBCT. I can see two canals here already. And here's the post-op. As you can see, two canal systems, 24 millimeters, 22 millimeters. Everything went great. We went ahead and temporized the tooth and referred the patient back to his dentist for the permanent restoration. This is how it should be. I mean, I shouldn't even um, uh, have referred the patient back to, to the dentist for the dentist to cut the crown off and clean out the decay and, and um, assess the tooth to see if they could save it. This should be something automatic that every dentist should do before they refer, to, uh, refer the, their patient to, uh, to a specialist. They should, they should do this automatically because we can't make that determination for them. If, if I did that, let's say I cut the crown off, cleaned out the decay, to me, maybe this tooth wasn't salvageable because, you know, every dentist, uh, the, the training is different, their expertise is different, the experience is different. And I'm, again, I'm not a restorative dentist. I'm an endodontist. So it's up to the restorative dentist to determine if the tooth that they're, gonna, that they're referring for, for an endodontist to the root canal on is salvageable or not. Uh, for for me, it could be an extraction, but for the dentist, they could they could they could easily save the tooth. Or for me, it could be a okay. I can do a root canal. It looks like there is enough tooth left uh, for the dentist to work with. But I could do the root canal, and to me, it was there was enough tooth left. But for the dentist, the the restorative dentist, the dentist who takes over after my root canal, maybe for them, um, there isn't enough tooth left. So this is something that the restorative dentist needs to take to take care of to determine whether they um, can uh, restore the tooth before they refer and not put it on our shoulders to, to decide for them.